Hello, my name is Szymon Kucharski and I am Export Manager at Samash Poland. In today's video, I'm gonna present you our extension arm KWT651EP combined with mowing head LAMA 121HD. At the beginning, we're gonna discuss connection to the tractor, then we will move to all the equipment and technical data, and at the very end, we're gonna discuss control system. So, first thing we need to do is to hook up the machine to tractor's point hitch. To do so, we use lower links and the top link. The next step is to fasten the machine onto the tractor with additional linkage stabilizers, which additionally secure the machine's position. Remember, after setting them up, your free point hitch should be fixed. You shouldn't raise the lower links because doing so can damage the tractor. Once the machine is mounted and the stabilizing bars are adjusted and set, the next step is to install PTO shaft between the machine and the tractor. The length needs to be checked first, and if necessary, PTO needs to be shortened. Too long PTO shaft can cause damage to the machine and the tractor. Detailed instructions on shortening PTO shaft can be found in the operator's manual. After the KWT is connected to the tractor, we need to plug the control unit in. Remember to connect all the electrical wires between the control panel and the tractor first. The free pin power connector should be plugged in last. Connecting any wires to an already powered up panel may damage it. The KWT extension arm runs at a standard 540 RPMs. Optionally, we can equip it with a multiplying gearbox that runs at 1000 RPMs. This particular extension arm model has its own oil tank with capacity of 220 liters, which is equivalent to 58 gallons. You can find the oil specifications in the operator's manual. This oil tank is equipped with temperature and oil level sensors. The hydraulic oil is continuously filtered by means of a built-in filtering system. The oil filters have a contamination level indicator. The oil must meet required cleanliness class standard that can be found in the operator's manual. If it doesn't meet the required cleanliness class, it must be replaced. Before starting the machine, you need to open the shut off valve, which is located on the hydraulic feed line next to the oil tank. Then remove the arm rotation lock pin, and this pin protects the machine from unexpected release during transport. Let's move to the hydraulic system. It is run with a multiplying gearbox and two hydraulic parallel pumps. One pump powers the header and the second is responsible for the movement of the extension arm hydraulic cylinder. For KWT651EP, we offer two types of control system, electric control and electric proportional control. In today's video, we are going to discuss the most advanced one, the electric proportional control system. This type of control system is mounted on this particular machine. In this version of the control system, we operate the machine with a joystick and a panel located in the tractor's cab, together with a control unit and hydraulic distributors on the machine. If a control system failure occurs, it is possible to manually override the hydraulic distributor, which makes it possible to mechanically fold the machine arm and deliver it folded to a service station. What we see here is an overflow valve, which works as an overrun protection for the arm. The machine hydraulic system also includes hydraulic brakes and hydraulic gas accumulator. These are responsible for the smooth operation of hydraulic cylinders. What else improves the smooth operation of cylinders is the choke valve. With this blue knob, we adjust the speed of its operation. The KWT extension arm has its own oil radiator with thermostat, which controls temperature and prevents the hydraulic system from overheating. 
the radiator's fan has a reverse function, which cleans the fan of any debris. Additionally, to reduce power demand, it is equipped with a soft start function. You need to pay attention and grease your machine. Here is a decal that tells you where the grease point is located. Today we have an assembly of KWT extension arm combined with mowing head LAMA 121 HD. The header is mounted with this mounting plate and secured with six bolts. There are also three hydraulic hoses that are plugged in. So this is LAMA 121 HD from the bottom. HD in the name stands for the heavy duty. It means it has a stronger flail shaft than the standard LAMA. You can install various types of the flails dedicated for different operations, like cutting grass, bushes, straw, or corn stalks. Samash optionally offers several coupling mounts, like the mechanical quick coupler, the mechanical swivel adapter, and the hydraulic swivel adapter. If you choose the hydraulic swivel adapter, you can't cut while driving the tractor backwards, because the overrun protection will not engage and you may damage the entire arm. Flail shaft is run by a belt drive, which is driven by this hydraulic motor. The motor is powered by the arm hydraulics. As it seems to be an issue, it is always worth paying attention to flail shaft vibrations. If vibrations occur, the most common cause is a missing flail. While changing worn or missing flails, always remember to do it in pairs with flails on opposite sides. That way, you will keep the rotor balanced. This is a ground following bar. It should go on the ground while mowing and is used to adjust the mowing height. The holes located here are used to change that height. Remember, properly adjusted machine runs on a ground following bar when sliding skids goes just off the ground. It is worth mentioning that the LAMA HD has an adjustable front flap. It can be used as an inspection access. Now let's discuss the control system. The KWT651EP presented today has an electric proportional control system. This is the most advanced version of the control system currently offered. All our movements are controlled with this joystick. The speed of the arm depends on degree of the joystick inclination. It means the faster you move the joystick, the faster the extension arm moves. Using this control system, we can control the operation of three hydraulic cylinders at the same time. With this control panel, we can start the rotor and reverse the direction of its rotation, which is important when the header is clogged. Other operational functions are the ground following of extension arm and the floating function of the header. There is an emergency stop button as well. On the control panel, we also have LEDs, which will show if the oil temperature is rising or if the oil level is low. We also have dials indicating that floating and ground following functions are activated on a particular hydraulic cylinder.
Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, always consult operator's manual or contact Samaj directly. Thanks for watching.